Hi, my name is Song, and welcome back to my Gloomhaven 4-player level 1 solo challenge. So today we are going to go into the Battlements. We're going to finish up the Demon, or I guess continue down the Demon quest line. We're going to put Jexera on hold for now, and we're going to go take care of the Demons now that our prosperity is at a nice and wholesome exactly 2. So we're in Gloomhaven, uh, just a reminder, the Mind Thief basically has the money he needs to buy the last item, but we really want to complete the scenario first and then we'll buy the item and, and retire the Mind Thief, which will also trigger the, the Tinkers. So once the scenario is done and completed, then we will retire those two. Uh, but first, so we're in Gloomhaven, let's do a city event. Returning to Gloomhaven with your latest haul of treasure, you approach the market in search of a good trade. Unfortunately, there are only a few visible stands around you that are not yet packing up for the day. A robed savas catches your eye. It has a few strange artifacts on display, but you approach with no great expectation, hoping your goods will fetch a decent price. The savas silently nods at you as you approach. It picks through your hall and lifts up a single item, holding out a small bag for you in exchange. Pouring out the bag's contents, a single rectangular black and white coin lands in your palm. Option A, demand a different payment. The single coin is an insult. Really? That's all it's in the book? Anyway, uh, accept the strange coin and research it for hidden value. Well, uh, yeah, let's accept it and go for strange value. All right, good. You calmly, you calmly assess that the coin may possess much more value than it appears to have. You head to the university and spend hours looking for old records to no avail. You end the day in a tavern easing the frustration with the drink and loud laments about the coin. Those markings are very interesting. You look up to see an eighth sir standing over you. They describe a special meeting place. I can show you where. Unlock the Temple of the Eclipse, number 81. Uh, does it say where? D2, of course it does. Good which is in the Dagger Forest, so if you ever get that quest line. And the other one, oops, the other one is Tengle. Definitely the better choice. All right, so we're done in Gloomhaven. We got a couple blesses. Let's head out on the road. Not far outside of Gloomhaven, you look up to see a large bird flying overhead. Something is odd, though. Its movements are jerky, and there's smoke billowing out of it. Then you see it plunge to a sudden nosedive and crash to the ground off in the east. You rush to the scene and find a limping, soot-covered quattrel kicking a giant winged contraption made of leather and metal. Curse this wretched thing, he yells in frustration. I thought I'd worked it out. Then I suddenly lost pressure in the piston chamber. He looks over at you. You there. Wonderful timing. Help me get this thing back into the air. There is no time to waste. Option A, do whatever the quattrel says, or option B, demand an explanation. Well, I'm kind of being a jerk, so let's, uh, let's go with the demand explanation part thing. You force the Quattro to slow down and talk to you, but his eyes keep darting around in a panic. Don't you understand? The world needs my technology now. I must perfect it. It will revolutionize everything. You agree that the power of flight is pretty great, but you convince the Quattro that the world can wait a day for him to get some rest and organize his thoughts. You help him transport the broken machine back to town. Gain a lot of prosperity. Well, fuck. <laughs> We're going to lose that prosperity, so let's kind of wasted. What's the other side? Five collective gold. Ah, I would have rather had the gold to be honest. Not sure who I'd give it to. Probably the, the Sun Keeper. We need to funnel gold to the Sun Keeper. Okay. So even though I have the map set up, we will overwrite and save it here. Because we unlocked a new scenario. And uh, you know what? Technically shoot. We didn't even need Fuck, we were in Gloomhaven. We didn't need to do that. We could have saved the prosperity. Son of a bitch. Well, anyway, too late. Gloomhaven, I was gonna say, we arrived at Gloomhaven. Oh, wait. <laughs> so, Gloomhaven Battlements A. Requirements Demonics Aaron, which we got. The Rift Neutralized Incomplete, which we have not done. Goal, destroy the door, which has got that health marker there. And then kill the captain of the guards. This is another boss fight. Ah, wonderful. You've returned with the artifact. The massive demon clutches it. It's, 
his claws clacking against the metal vessel. It looks so small in his hands, but somehow the demon looks small holding it. What? Anyway. Uh, with this, we are ready to make an assault against your realm. Come, help me fight against the humans, and I will set you at my right hand, where you will earn many riches. What say you? You smile and nod. Finally, you get the recognition you deserve. Giant winged creatures swoop down and grab you with their talons. A massive force of demons rushes towards the rift into your plane. Once through, they quickly make their way to the city walls of Gloomhaven. The intimidating figure of the prime demon marches to the front. Hear me, desident, desident, denizens of this pathetic world. The time of demons is upon you once again. Relinquish your city to me and you may yet live. The only ones I wish to kill are those foolish enough to oppose me. We will never fall at the top of the old river gate. You see the small figure of Captain of the Guard. You underestimate our power, and that will be your undoing. He makes a small gesture, and with a crack, a huge ballista bolt spouts from the Prime Demon's chest. <laughs> the demon staggers back, away from the throne. I am unfortunately vulnerable. It breathes heavily. Take my place at the head of my army. Crush this wall and bring me that human's head. Special rules. Door 1, which is that one, the only one here, is locked and opens when it is destroyed. It has 7 plus L, which the level is 2, so 9, times C, which is 4, is 36 hit points. All demons are allies to you and enemies to all other monster types. They still act normally following the actions of the monster ability card for each round. If on any demon's turn it can move within range to attack the door, it will focus on the door and act out its turn normally. Otherwise, it will choose its focus following normal rules. Set up city archers grouped A and B, which are these couple of guys. This one should be an elite. That one should be an elite. Um, archer. Archer should be elite. So let's fix that here. All right, uh, four elites, yeah, good. Should make a note to myself. Group B in four player. Now that'd be actually that wouldn't even be that wouldn't even be correct in three player because that one's always going to be elite in that position. But anyway, um, where were we? The archers grouped at A. Which are the A and B? Do not set up the other enemies on the B and I, or is it L? Whatever. Anyways, the two tile until the door is destroyed, or a character or ally moves onto tiles B or one, at which point no room. Basically, you can hop over the walls instead of destroying the door. So this is like one big map tile, that's why it's revealed and stuff. So you can hop over the walls, and if anybody ever touches this, then it re reveals this room and stuff too. Not wise, I don't think. Um... Anyway, uh, we do have a lot of demons here. It's just too bad we don't have any sun demons. That'd be, that'd be kind of helpful. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so we got some blesses for you. We got some blesses for you. And we got some battle goals for everybody. Okay, not so much worried about those two. Loot, no money. That should be pretty easy. Gain seven or fewer experience. That's harder, so let's go with loot, no money, and see if we can't do that, I guess. Uh, use no items, not gonna happen. Kill one elite monster, that should happen. Uh, take only a long rest, kill three or fewer monsters. Well, you're kind of the monster killer, so no. Have five or more total cards, never allow your hit point to drop below half. That's a little harder than you think. On uh, Tinkerer. Alright, so we got five or more cards, kind of like we did last time. Only a long rest. You matter, the other two don't so much. And you will see what we can do. Okay, so we got a lot of ground to cover. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So we could let these guys take a lot of hits. They don't actually have a lot of health. Spellweaver, I think we're going to make you... Well, you're melee. Put Tinker probably here. And sp uh, Sunkeeper here somewhere. Um, 
obviously got to kill the guards and open the door. Spellweaver wouldn't be a bad idea for you to... They're allies to me, which means we can move through them. Move through, go like one, two, three, four, and then go... Ugh. You can't reach anything. <laughs> God damn it. Well, maybe this turn you just... Uh, summon your ally and... I don't know. Jeez. Useless! <laughs> Well, uh, Sunkeeper. Interesting. We definitely don't want to bless these guys, because that means we put blesses in the monster deck. <laughs> um, but what we could do is strengthen them. But that's a bless and strength. If we have any to strengthen, all adjacent allies strengthen, and if we have light, all within two. So it might not be a bad idea to go late with you, generate some health, and um, or generate a heal? Arrange three heal and just move. Bless an ally, meaning like the, the spell we were here. Get this is just to generate some light. Next turn we'll try to strengthen these guys to actually do some damage. Um Mind Thief, I don't know. Augment probably. One, two, three, four. Actually, I got a better idea. Let's um, let's mani manipulate this, and we'll make you move top. I think. I made the guards attack each other. That seems like a good idea, right? Spellweaver. I'm not sure what to do with you. Now that Tinker, pretty obvious. Just do you. Um. Any old move, I guess. Probably gonna want you. Okay, uh, so the Elite City Archers have Pierce and Shield. Too bad the guards are over here. Uh, so the guards also have Shield. Shield 2, in fact. Um, okay. Which means piercing the bow is probably going to... Or piercing with the bow is going to be a good idea. If I can get my Spellweaver here... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. If I can get the Spellweaver here, I can attack all of them and probably kill one whole side. One, two, uh, so it's one, two, three, four. So I just need a base two move for the Spellweaver this round. And then next turn we'll, we'll do this with this sort of attack. So we'll move up a tiny bit and go late is the, the idea. So we'll use you as a heal to heal whatever. So we'll go late this turn and use you as a move. Okay, I think we're good. Oh boy, and this and, um, I don't want that one. This and the Gloomhaven squares are very, very intensive for knowing how to use AI. <laughs> it's a shame that the Gloomhaven square comes so early. This one we kind of forced early. Normally it doesn't go this early. Wind Demon, you are in, oh, that's Frost. Where's Wind? There we go, Wind Demon. All right, um... What, what do we have? We have two frost, an earth, two fire, and one wind. And it's an elite wind, okay? So the elite wind has two shield. It moves four base. So this turn, it'll have three shield. It's moving three, range four, attack two. Range four, attack two. Um, you're moving three, one, two... One, two, three, four. So you can attack the door and you will focus the door. There's no elements, so that's fine. You are going to attack. What did I say? Two? Two damage to the door. One damage to the door. Okay. Next are the guards. The guards are shielding and attacking adjacent, which there are none. That's actually not a bad thing because the mind. Uh, the mind thief won't let them poison, though. That's unfortunate. But. Uh, frost demons are next. Frost demons are over here. They are mobilizing all targets range 2. So they're not moving. Cool. Uh, next is my mind thief. The mind thief's going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, th one, two 3, 4. Uh, actually, the mind thief. 
we'll make you go here. And we're going to make this city guard attack this city guard for two damage. Um, actually, what are the, uh, what are the ranges on those archers? Five? Oh, boy. And pierce. Ooh, you know what? Let's, uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Let's make this guy attack the, the, uh, guard. Why don't we? We could also make him attack the door, but it's not a whole lot. We'll make him attack the guard because it's attack two. And they have pierce as just a base ability, so it'll be attack two pierce with this guy. One, <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. All right, that's my thief. Next is the flame demons. Flame demons are moving and attacking and generate fire. Good. So they have, they're both normal. So range three attack or move three, range three attack two. So here, this one's going to go one, two, three, three, one, two, three, and this one's going to go here, and one, two, three. So they're both going to attack the door, I forgot what I said already, for two damage. Three damage, one, two, three, one, two, three, perfect. Archers are next. These guys are the ones that are really going to hit us and why the spell we need to get up there. So they're moving and attacking. They have one movement and range five. Okay, so what's the lowest number? Two. Range five. One, two, three, four, five. So you're attacking the frost demon. And you have attack of three with pierce. So that's two damage. And you're also going to attack three with pierce, four damage. So that f that demon just flat out died. Good job, frost demons. Uh, next is this one. The nearest is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So he's going to attack the flame demon for a miss. And then this one, this one's closest is the earth demon. So. I think that's just the base of three. So Earth Demon takes three. One, two, three. Good. All right, that's the archers. Now the Tinkerer gets to go. The Tinkerer is popping potent potables and moving two. All right, next is the Earth Demons over here. Earth Demon's got extra movement, so I believe it's elite. So it has three movement. It cannot reach the door, so it's going to fall in normal focusing, which is one of these two. So it's going to go two here and attack this guard. And it has an attack of four. Five, six. The guard has two shield, I believe, because of his ability this turn. No, they're elite guards, so they have three shield. So three does three damage gets by one, two, three. Okay, so Sunkeeper, you are next. You know, I could bless my own freaking people. Why didn't I think of that? Um, you? I need to get within range three. So if I got move two here, I could bless the Tinkerer. Why did the Tinkerer take damage? Um, anyway, uh, one, two, three, I can heal the Earth Demon. So I'll heal the Earth Demon for three. Oh, one, two, three. Generate light, and I also blessed the Mind Thief. Okay, now the Spell Weaver goes, also has a heal, but I don't think anybody needs it now. Nope. Well, I guess we'll just make you move two then. Because then next turn you can run up and uh, destroy them, right? Okay, that's the round. That's round one. Holy crap, that's a lot of stuff to track. Spellweaver should be able to come over here and destroy them. 
kind of wish the Tinker was a little bit closer, but I don't think the Tinker can really help with that. So, Spell we were doing her usual shtick here. Um, yeah, we need to move four, so we'll just... It, it's going to go late, unfortunately. But that's the best she can do. Tinkerer. What to do? We do have two guards there. I think we're gonna have to save the the bow on the, the tinker till later. Um Bless and strengthen one ally. You you could definitely do that to the spellweaver, and then uh the spellweaver might hit a little harder. And then for a bottom, just move up some more. Or we could uh strengthen all allies, range two. Which would be just the flame demons and the wind demons and stuff. But I think they're gonna go first. But um you'll be strengthened. Um, I can bless and swap. Then I don't need to bless and strengthen, right? It's just a waste of a bless then. Um, oh, here we go. Well, we could make the Spellweaver go quicker then. If uh, we make the Spellweaver go... Just after that, it's so like 30 something. It's definitely a lot quicker. And with the move four, then she'd be able to actually get two attacks in right away then. One, two, three, four, and then she could go blam, 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 and then use the other attack to finish it off. She'd still be strengthened for both of them too. Cause she's range two. Yeah, I like that a lot. 21's still kind of slow though. Actually using the top of this for a change. <laughs> uh, mind Thief, what do you want to do? We already used your move three top. One, two, just go up in here and body block. Uh, move four and... Oh, we didn't get the augment going. Oh, Alright, uh, probably get the augment going then, right? Move forward, get the augment going, attack for two damage, three, and poison. Just get it out of the way. And we'll move four, and therefore we'll get this for extra damage. I like that a lot. Cool. Hopefully there's a spot open. Tinker, probably, uh, probably get a heal going. You are not range three of anything, so you'll need to move up and have Frosty in the back. Got it. It's like, why didn't that guy move? The other thing we could do is summon decoy, which should take off from the demons, which will actually do some damage. The problem is at least the bottom heal. Um, given there's so many allies, it might not be a bad idea to do this too. Go a little bit later and summon decoy. It'll heal them all back up. There's a nice pocket here. Um, it's only move two though. That's the drawback, because it's only move two. Um, I like the idea of the of that thing to draw some fire. A stun up might not be too bad either. Do I still want to get a heal in? Nah. They're all at full right now. The one that died, died instantly. <laughs> I suppose we could try immobilizing the guards. They got two shield, which would be a good time for this, but odds are there's going to be some guards going in the next one, and then we won't have any pierce ability at all. So this would really just be to keep them in place while we ping at them again, I guess. We would all we would be strengthened. We definitely want, because the Sunkeeper is going to be strengthening us at 21. So we would want to go at like a 20 or 30 something like this would this get me in range with the range three i move up one two oh yeah easily okay and then i could also hit the door at that too not a bad idea actually i would use all of them so we'll use this to go right after the sun keeper we might use our power potion there okay and who knows what the demons are doing can't synergize with them 
Flame Demon, Archer. Of course, Archers are going first. God damn it. Flame Demons are moving, creating a trap, and consuming something to make fire. Well, we'll make you consume fire to make fire. How about that? And you've got one less movement, so you've got two movements, but you do have flying. And you're focusing the door because you can. One, two, one. Oh, wait. Wait, you were here, All right? One, two. Because you're focusing the door. You can't. Well, okay, hold on. I think. How does that go again? Any demon's turn it can move within range to attack the door to focus, otherwise it choose normal focus. Okay, so it's choosing normal focus. That's what we're doing. So first, this one's going to move here. And what are the guards doing? They're just attacking. It's going to go here, and it's going to make a trap. What kind of traps are those? I never looked at that. Stun and damage. So this is just a regular damage trap. I should really just grab a different trap. Distinguish them. These are what, three damage? Four damage, all right. So it's the same as trap damage, it's just not stun. You're summoning it here. You are trying to focus this guy, so you're gonna move two and then place a trap here. That is not the trap I wanted. There. Because they're flying. Now I wish I had pull again. I saw the traps, why didn't I? So that's the flame demons. Now the archers are going to go. What are the archers doing? They are also creating damage traps. They are doing less damage though. So they're only doing two damage with one pierce. Range five. Two damage, one pierce, range five. One, two, three, four, five. So you can hit this guy. Two damage, one pierce. Okay, so that doesn't do anything. You can't play the trap because there's no empty hex. You're doing the same thing. Two damage, one pierce. I think they have three shield. Yeah, so nothing. Uh, but you will create a damage trap, and this is a three damage trap. Uh... Okay, well, let's just make it a poison trap then. Okay, so this is only three damage. Alright, uh, this one. One, two, three, four is going to attack this one for... Two damage, two damage, one damage, and then you're also going to attack that one for two damage. Okay, that's the archers. Now the sun keeper is going to go. The sun keeper is going to consume the light and strengthen all allies range two. So that means you, 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 one, two, one, two, um, so and the wind demon, which hasn't gone yet. Cool. So the wind demon is strengthened. Um, I'm gonna make sure that the Spellweaver and all the rest know that they're strengthened. Bloop and bloop. Okay. And then you're going to range, so the archers already went, that's perfect. You're gonna range three, tell him to move. One, two, three, four, four. The guards will never attack you without going around, so. That's great. Um, actually, let's go four. We're still range three of this guy, and then you can uh, reach both of those in case you need to, so, okay. Sunkeeper, Spellweaver's next. Spellweaver, you are strengthened. You are going to pop your bow to make sure you get through that shield. I got a message, okay. Let's take care of that later. So you're popping your bow to pierce the shield. You don't need goggles because you're already strengthened. You're popping a potion, so this is four damage. Generating fire, already fire. Four damage, range three, target three. That one, that one, and this one. So we'll start this archer, that archer, then this one. So again, four damage, advantage. Five damage, one, two, three, four, five. Four damage. One, two, three, four. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to kill both of those. Um, and I was going to say, there's my put times two, but nope. Uh, it's just one, two, three. Okay, so that's lost. Now, you do have this bottom attack yet. And we're going to... It's not piercing, so we're going to attack this one. 
We are still strengthened though. Plus one. So the plus one cancels out the piercing and we kill this archer. Good. Discard. And that one was lost. Yep, good. Okay, so you lose your strengthen. Um we still got your seven, so I think we'll we will just assume that you're gonna go first and kill him, so we're not gonna pop your invisibility cloak. Okay, next is the Tinkerer. The Tinkerer has a move and attack. The Tinkerer is going to move two. And then going to blast these guys here. And we're going to save her bow. Uh, but we are going to pop a potion, I think. So this is also four damage. And strengthen. We'll start with this guard, then that guard, then the door. So four damage, strengthen. Five damage. Um, how much shield do they got again? Two. So three gets by. This guard dies. Then we're doing this one. Bless. Good. And finally, I gotta get that bless out of there. Finally, the door. Other bless. Nice. And the plus three, unfortunately. Um, yeah, the bless is still better because it's eight damage. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the door. Nice. And immobilized, but they're all dead, so. It's too bad you didn't have to kill the elite. All right, so you lose your strength then. Tinker is done. Wind Demon goes next. What is the Wind Demon doing? Where are the Wind Demons again? Over here. They are moving and attacking melee. So they have, the elite one has a movement of four. Can you get to anywhere with the, yeah, you can get to the door. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go one, two, three, and attack the door because you can. And you are strengthened, so you get three damage, strengthen. Plus one, or miss, so plus one, so four damage. One, two, three, four. And then you lose your strength in. Wind Demon, the guards go, they're dead. Frost Demon, hey, you might actually help sometime. Fr <laughs> I say that, and he has one movement. Shit. Uh, so, <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> this is actually close. One, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, so it's the same distance. I'm going to make him go around just to protect him. Uh, the frost demon is going to consume the fire to generate ice Per his ability Okay After that is the mind thief and finally the earth demon. So the mind thief We kind of want to let the earth demon First of all, what's the earth demon doing? Moving attacking not as much. I think the mind thief will still do more damage. So we will let one, two, three with the jump muddle. Well, three, four, technically. Get a coin. And then, ah, uh, you know what? We don't actually need coin. I still want to attack, though. Okay, so we triggered this thing by moving four. Um, we are going to attack for four damage here. Plus zero. One, two, three, four. And do you have your eight card in your hand? You do, so we'll go. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. Your strength, then. plus one. Cool. So you actually do one more damage. Good. Okay. And then the Earth Demon goes. The Earth Demon doesn't have a focus and has no way to get there. So the Earth Demon just stays put. And that's the round. That was round two. Not bad at all. All right, so you need to go quick to make sure that that bastard doesn't kill you. Uh, do we want to save the jump or do we want to... We'll just go with this. Tinkerer, you've done your work. We need to uh, probably move over here and try taking these guys out. Do you still have your two target thing? No. You have a poison though. And a stun. A stun wouldn't be bad. Save the big AoE for later and just move over there, stun one of them. 
Uh, mine thief, you're just gonna keep whacking the door. Um, we do have frost now, but that only helps stun. It doesn't actually do anything. This probably is the biggest attack we got. And so we'll go quick pop attack and then go invisible just to make sure that they attack the demon instead of me. Alright, and then Sunkeeper. We don't have any light or anything for you, but blessing and strengthening something might be not a bad idea. Um, we're also not to the door yet, so you probably need to move up. There's a whole ton of traps in the way, though. <laughs> Flame Demon's are ranged, and the Wind Demon is ranged, so between all of them, the door is probably going to go down this round. We need you to... What do we need you to do? I mean, as far as damage goes, only the Earth Demon really has taken any, and the, the Tinkerer could technically take care of that, actually. She's got the, the heal bottom stuff yet, so maybe we should just let the Tinkerer take care of that. One, two, well, then your your whole stun plan isn't going to work then. Um, do we just focus the door then? If the door is not dead by the time it gets to you? Uh, the other thing we could do is go quick. Well, it would only make you do or do more damage. Uh, so S Sunkeeper, what are you gonna do? You're gonna move two. Is that all you got? We haven't we haven't popped your defensive stance yet, so you still have a nice move four. We could go late and move four and strengthen something. So go really late, bless and strengthen something for next turn. Uh, okay, so we'll go with that. I think. Star Throne, Flame Demon, Spellweaver, all the way down to the archers. Uh, just out of curiosity, what are the archers doing? They are attacking extra hard, but not as good a range. Okay. All right, Flame Demons first. They're doing not as good of an attack as normal, which means they're only doing one damage. But they are generating fire again. <laughs> so one damage. They're already at range. They're just going to attack one damage piece. So two damage. And two damage. That's right, get that times two out of their deck. Alright, next is the Spellweaver. The Spellweaver is going to go before the Archer, and if she can't kill it, then she can always go invisible, but hopefully she should be able to kill it. So she will consume... What is the Frost Demon doing? You're doing extra damage in range. I think I want to leave the Frost alone. So we'll uh, consume the Fire. Make this a three damage attack. I could also do this to guarantee it's dead. I don't think I need it. Okay, so three damage attack against this archer here. Plus one, four damage. It has one shield. Blam. Good. Okay. Good job, Spellweaver. And now you're going to move one, two, just in case when we open the door, there's stuff there. Um, does this change anything at all? No, I think it's all the same. So we're just going to go three. And next turn, we'll have to use our jump to actually get over the door, so discard, discard. Next is the Mine Thief. The Mine Thief has um, an invisible and attack, so uh, the Mine Thief will do the attack first for... I thought that was three damage. Uh, two damage. My augment is not up. Uh, so four damage to the door. Minus one, so one, two, three. And then the Mind Thief is going to go invisible, just to make sure that the demons take the damage. Next are the Archers. The Archers are only range 4 this time, but they're doing 4 damage. 1, 2, 3, 4. You're fine. 1, 2, 3, 4. You aren't, and you're going to block him. So, cool. Uh, you are just going to attack the Earth Demon. I said for 4 damage. 3 damage. And this one can't move and can't reach, so it won't do anything. Next is the Earth Demons. Once again, Earth Demon does not have a target, and so will not move. Uh, unless they're doing something else. No, they're just moving and attacking. Okay. Uh, Wind Demons are next. They are pushing all adjacent enemies, which are none, and attacking in place. That's unfortunate. There's no earth, um, so it's three damage muddle. Uh, so zero, so one, two, three. Darn, I thought that, uh, well, we could technically open with the tinker if we want. 
Uh, so is a wind demon. The frost demon's next. The frost demon is moving one space and attacking, consuming the frost, of course. It has range three and moving one space. Can you reach? No, because <laughs> your movement sucks. Oh boy. Well, that's fine. The wind demons and the flame demons are the real stars of the show. Okay, that's the frost demon. Now the sun keeper gets to go. The sun keeper is going to bless and strengthen the spell weaver, I think, because well, the spell weaver's not doing a big attack next turn. Uh, the tinker is about to do an attack, and if it's strengthened, who would I want to be strengthened for next turn? Because I would guarantee that the door opens this turn, and then all the guards and shit would get to go. Uh, and archers. <laughs> I don't really want that. I, I would rather wait till next turn and go really quick and open the door. So let's... Um, one ally range two. Let's, uh, let's, let's bless the uh, spell weaver. And then we'll strengthen her as well. Save the goggles for when she really needs it. There's no way for me to get up there. Um, and then we'll use the other thing as just a move two. Or actually it's a move four, isn't it? Um, one, two, three, four. Which kind of sucks because the archers are right there and you're going to get hit a lot because they hit hard. Uh, so then the tinker... We're going to move two and we're actually going to summon the decoy to protect the sun keeper here. That's fine. And like I said, that thing has six health, so in theory, it should be able to absorb both of those attacks. And you know anything about experience, you see five cards. Okay, good. End round. So, this round, we need to open the door quickly. Mind Thief. We don't have frost for you anymore. Our plan was to go in there and we used the other invisible so we could use this. Oh, that that's the three attack that I was thinking of. Um, can the boss be disarmed? No. Well, sometimes you get lucky. Just go in there and pop it anyway. And they'll prob uh, probably, probably pop our stamina potion. Because next turn I think we're going to do this bottom. S uh, Sunkeeper... I really think I need to have your move four back. And, well, yeah, sure. So, since we're the last two anyways, I'm that's I'm using the stamina potion. So, Sunkeeper, you need to um, get in there. And so we're gonna use these two together. Um, which is gonna go, ah, oh, shit. I was gonna say it's gonna go after the the mind thief, but it's not. I want to save the other one, so we're gonna do this. Mind thief, you're gonna go quick. Open the door. If not, the spellweaver will open the door. If not, then then you can run in there. And then the tinker. Um, since you're over here now, you can certainly attack and uh, stun that thing. Uh, would it be, uh, yeah, you should be able to go quick enough. And um, even shield allies. Because this thing also doesn't have a target. So by shielding allies, I also shield the sun keeper for now. You're just not going to move then. Okay. Are you locked? What the hell? What is the deal here? Why well, can't there we go? I think it was trying to fall through the table or something. Alright, Mind Thief Tinker, Spell Weaver, Wind Demon. Basically everybody but the archer. What is the archer doing? Moving or they're not moving, they're just attacking a place for extra range. Okay. Cool. Uh so the Mind Thief goes first. The Mind Thief is going to 
use the top of this as a base two attack. So it's four damage. Bless. All right, I have destroys the door. Okay, open the door. Will that spawn the enemies? No, because they're already spawned. Um, well, they shouldn't have been until now, but... Uh, okay. Is there a text for opening the door? There is, okay. As you hack away at the wooden door, an explosion erupts from it, sending gouts of flame dancing among splinters of wood and shards of rock. A shockwave blows blows you from your feet and you recover to see nothing but billowing smoke where the door once was. The way is clear. Now is the time to bring down the captain. Okay, so now that we actually have the door unlocked, now the captain goes here. Uh, here. There was no, like, um, explanation of the captain's abilities, so it should be relatively straightforward. I think this is the same captain as, uh, in the Jexera quest line. It's kind of weird that you overthrow him twice. I don't know, whatever. Uh, we got two normal guards here. Where are the guards? Guards. Guard and an elite one. And then we got uh, four elite archers. Oh my god. Two, three, Four elite archers. Jesus Christ. And they're all right here. So Tinker, you got a really nice attack coming up, or two or three. And then we also got two more, we got the chest here, of course, and uh, we've actually got two more city guards, and they're both elite. I'm surprised those other two aren't elite, I wonder what the, the reasoning for that balance was. Okay, come here. Please, please, here we go. Alrighty then, so we need to draw for them too. Uh, Archer's already drawn, the boss needs to be drawn. Boss Special 1. So Boss Special 1 he heals 2 self and all allies. Boss Special 2, all allies add plus 1 to all attacks this round. And then he attacks... He attacks for his attack plus 1, I think is how that goes. Uh, yeah, attack base plus 1. Okay. Um, and then the guard we need to draw for... They are shielding and retaliating. Okay, cool. We got it all. So that was the Tinker's attack. Um, now the question is, where do we want him to move? So we got that move four yet. Um, really, the archers are going to be the problem. All the other guys are... Move four. Um, you know, it wouldn't be bad. One, two, three, four. And then make you go cloak. Not that the guards are moving at all, but um, just might as well. And then we're going to use your stamina potion here. Now, question is what? Um, the invisible is probably going to be useful. And uh, move top to get closer, and then, well... We, also, we want to pop you at some point, right? And if we're using invisible, we really can't do that. Unless we do that next turn. So this next turn we'll do that. We don't have any range attacks. We could probably do that though. Get the rat swarm out and <laughs> have them have them uh, hit take some hits or something. Okay. Uh, so next is the guards. The guards will be shielding and retaliating, so they're not doing anything really. The tinkerer is next, and the tinker is going to attack this archer. Um, move four with jump. One, two, three, four, and then she had more move. Boom, boom. No. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be one damage and stun to this thing. Plus zero, so nothing because they have shield. Uh, no. Okay, so that one's stunned and won't attack. And then we also got a shield all allies, or should we move two and move up? 
when are the archers going? The archers are going last, which means the demons are all going to move in. The earth demon's not moving. The wind demon's going to run in there and take a ton of damage, probably. As are the flame demons. They're attacking two targets and wounding. Ooh, that will help a lot, actually. Nice. The wind demon is pulling enemies. All right. Oh, you know what? One, two, three. Flame demons, one, two, three. Oh, no, flame demons. Okay, I was going to say, they can't really reach anything. Yeah, they can. Just, I was hoping they'd hit these archers, but... Um... I think I'll just shield in place to try and protect the uh, the summon. Active? You broke for some reason. Oh, there aren't any active spots. I see. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, that's the Tinker. Now the Spellweaver gets to go. The Spellweaver has a move for jump. Uh, given these guys are gonna come in there, I think I'm gonna move, make you go one, two, three, four over here. And uh, start whacking on these guards. You have strengthened, so we'll. There's no element to consume, unfortunately, right? Yeah. So we will attack to this guard. Plus zero, so nothing. Alright, strengthen is gone. Um, and these guys are going to be running in here, so I think they'll be drawing the fire of the archers. The Spellweaver should be relatively safe here. Next is the Wind Demon. So the Wind Demon is range 4, and is going to attack for the base, and has a movement of 4. So, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this archer is the lowest initiative. One, two. So it'll attack that archer. And it will hit for 3 damage. Generate wind. You know, if I was smart, I would have brought Crackling Air with. Uh, 3 damage. Plus 0. So 3 damage to this guy. 2, and then pulls it. Just pull 1, yeah? yeah okay. Uh, that's the Wind Demon. Now the Sun Keeper gets to go. Sun Keeper is going to move for 1 two, three, four, five, six. Guards already went this turn. Sunkeeper's kind of on his own then. Do I really want to get that far away from the Tinker? The archers are not, um, let's see, one, two, three. Well, actually you just go here and then attack this. You would also attack this. Um, I think I would rather have the Sun Keeper go here and then shield. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to use the Sun Keeper's boots. It's just too bad I don't have this going because I'd be, you know, a nice few free damage to them. Uh, they're all going to be muddled, which should help, but uh, anyway. Sun Keeper, now the Flame Demons are going to go. This is going to be really complicated. Uh, one, two, one, two, three. Uh, how much movement do you got, first of all? You got three movement. Okay, um, one, two, three. And if you go here, you can hit a third target. One, two, three. So you'll hit this one, this one, and who would be the third target then? I guess technically you could go here. Um, so from here, uh, we got one target. That's the primary target. Like I said, this is going to get complicated. You've actually got... You're, you're normal. You're a normal one. Uh, range 3. Okay, range 3. Unfortunately, you're doing attack 0, but you're wounding, which is great. Um, so yeah, like I so said, you're going to attack this one. Um, either one of these... Are the archers faster or the... The guard. The guards are faster, so it's going to focus this guard then for this the third attack. Oh god, how does that work? Because this is the next closest one from where it was, from where it started. 
one, two. Um, is this one closer than this one when I was here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, it's all the same, so then it's going to be initiative. Okay, um, yeah. This is one of those fringe cases where I'm probably going to guess wrong, but we're going to attack this one, this one, and this one. That's all range three. Now, unfortunately, it's attack minus two, which means it's zero damage, but it's wounding everything. Oh, it's only two target. What am I talking about? It's this one then. Easy. So then you only have to go here. One, two, three. It's the least amount of movement. You hit both. Okay. So starting with the archer, attack zero. So zero, but you're wounded. Of course, I cover up the wound. Okay, and then you're attacking this one for attack zero. Wound. Stun and wound. Perfect combination. Okay, now the other one. Where are you going to go? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. You're focusing the guard. One, two. That'll get you in range. Three would get you in range of this one. But this one's closer. I think you're going to attack this one because it was line of sight closer. And so this is your focus. So he's quicker between the two. And this is your secondary because it's closer line of sight. Okay? So attacking the guard. Plus zero. And this one plus zero. So it's just wounding that guard. Oh, what a headache. Okay. Frost Demon. Too many monsters. Uh, Frost Demons move three. One, two, three. Hey, you might help eventually. Earth Demon is next. Likewise with you. Heal three self. Well, a one, two, three. <laughs> great. Thanks. Uh, Earth Demon. Archers are next. Oh, great. Oh, you know what? That kind of sucks. Because the captain of the guard is going to get rid of all those wounds. I just realized that. Uh, okay, so archers. You're number four. Number one, you're going to take a damage. And then you're going to attack the sun keeper. How much you guys are hitting for? Four damage. Oh, boy. Uh, four damage muddle. Plus one or minus one, so three damage. I do not have that up yet. So three, two, one, zero. All right, uh, number two is going to attack, but it's not muddled. So five damage, minus two. So I will take one, two, three. All right, now number three goes muddled. Th uh, shit, what is it, four damage? Four damage, minus one is three more damage. That was number three. Uh, number four is stun, so I'll just take a damage and, um, well, they're going to be losing the wound after the heal here, so hold on. Uh, five is one, two, three, attacking that one. Four, three damage. Two with the Tinker Shield. And then last is this Archer Muddled. Plus two or zero, so zero. It's another four damage. Three with that. So the Sun Keeper is down to... Uh, I think I might discard. Just to give him a little bit of extra health. Um, yeah. Alright. Alright, that's the Archers. Now the boss. The boss is... Special one, heal two self and all allies. Given that there's a lot of allies, it's heal two, right? One, two, you're up to full. And that's it. And then it's attack two, but there's nothing to attack. Okay. That was one hell of a round. Okay. Now what? <laughs> uh, Tinker, guess what? You're going to be doing this. We're in need of that greatly. Um, 
Your heal two will actually heal some people. Can you reach anything with that though, unfortunately? No, you need like a move forward to get in here and blast them, right? Okay, so we need to pair you with a move four, which means you're going really slow. You're going to rest. Perfect. That is the one I always want to lose on you. If I can help it. Um, Spellweaver. You're not really helping a whole lot right now. I would really like to get a nice big four attack on these guys if I can to try and knock them all out. Um, as it stands, I'm kind of stuck right there. So, go, go late again. Use the jump to get over that thing. Mind Thief, where are you again? You're here. You can certainly try taking out the guards. Um, although the spell weaver, uh, Sunkeeper would really not like some help. We don't have any frost. This could stun one of those guys and we could get the rat swarm going. It means... Uh, <laughs> Put the rat swarm right next to him. Which means that they're, the rat swarm is just going to take a, take a hit for the sun keeper basically. I wish I had frost this turn. Unless I go late and then do that. So I can go quick next turn. That seems like a better idea means the you're not going to help a lot. Uh, and then you're going to go as quick as you can to hopefully get your defensive stance going. Pretty much your only bet. And we're going to short rest just to make sure we have enough cards in your hand. Uh, as much as I want you to exhaust, I don't want you to exhaust quite yet. Alright, come on demons, help us out please. The boss! Special 2, all allies add plus 1 to all their attacks this round. Oh, that attack 1 was on that one. Anyways, uh, so he's not adjacent to anything who's done his attack. Uh, all allies add plus 1 to all attacks this round. Okay. Sunkeeper. Wow, Sunkeeper got to go first. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, retaliate and shield 1. Good. Flame Demon, what are you doing? You're doing your 2 damage wound thing again. Okay. Um good because that means the wound will actually stick this time so you're going to attack the same two and you're going to attack those two as well one two three ah oh, wait a minute which one's going quicker archers so you actually are going to attack the archers twice this time because you don't have to move and they're all range three from you so yeah um this one's going to attack this one and then that one for again plus zero plus one unfortunately no shield plus zero wow we haven't drawn a times two yet Interesting. Uh, but those two are wounded. This one's going to attack number one as well. Times two, so zero. And then the um, this archer for miss, but that's fine. Because we got three wounds out again. So blam, blam, blam. That one missed. Okay. Flame demons. Now the archers go. I'll just make them all take a, take a damage right now. What were the archers doing? I never looked. They are moving, attacking, extra damage. Oh, oh joy. So it's plus one from this, plus one from this. They're doing five damages. Five damages? Yes, five damage per attack. You're gonna go here and attack the Sun Keeper for five damage. Uh, three, two damage. Probably not best to, you're already there, so you're just gonna do five damage, four damage three more damage I don't think you're going to help much okay number three what's your guys' movement one cannot actually get away so you're just going to draw two um, well one minus one so minus one is three four five four damage three damage again so you need to discard again probably gonna do this this thing triggers so you take two damage back all right uh you already did the damage you're gonna hit this thing for like five miss perfect and then you're gonna hit this thing for like five which will kill it 
All right, your summon has officially done its job, Tinker. Good job. Take a lot of hits. Okay. Wind Demon. What are you doing, huh? Consu Ooh. We actually have wind. Nice. You're going to do extra damage. So four damage, two target. Two target? Well, you got one right here. Um, what's your range? Your range is four. One, two, three, four. You can certainly hit that one or this one. I actually attacked out of order, I guess. I made this one attack first. Oh, wait. I didn't actually make this one attack yet. Shoot. Uh, so five damage. Uh, so that's three damage, two damage. I still have to discard because Sunkeeper is almost dead. Um, probably that one. Okay. Uh, so anyways, um, this one for sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This one and this one. Okay. And it's going to be four damage a piece. So we'll start with this one. Four damage. Four damage. Uh, one, two, three. Because they have shield. And then four damage to this one. One, two. Because of the shield. Oh. Those archers had pierce. Uh, yeah, I'm probably down to one HP or less, so we'll just say I'm at one. Uh, okay, guards. What are the guards doing? So much to keep track of. Ah, uh, they're moving one space, strengthening and attacking. Uh, which guards have we got? Two. Where are you focusing? Sunkeeper. So one. You're also doing that. Oh boy, Sunkeeper. Uh, one, one, and this one's going to whack you. And they're all strengthened. Uh, so this one's going to hit for three, four damage. Three damage, two damage. Have to discard. <laughs> Maybe not smart to pop the retaliate on the turn. You're going to fucking die. <laughs> oh. See, now I'd be taking like one or less damage if I had the enhancement, hence why I'm saving up for it. Um, well, you're getting an exhaust this time. Uh, we'll get rid of the heal because that's not going to help as much. Okay. Uh, and then you do take two retaliate though. That's fortunate, I guess. See, I'd rather have the guards attack him than the other one, but... Okay, so that is the guards. Now the Tinkerer gets to go. Unfortunately, everybody spread the fuck out right now. There's no nice grouping of threes anymore. I was going to say go ahead and hit the boss, but I think I might just take these two archers out. Because they're kind of weak. Um, we got the Spellweaver too. Oh, Spellweaver. You can jump over and hit a shit ton now. In fact, you could go get the chest, hit a shit ton. Well, I only hit three of them, but I think I'd really hit. I think I'd rather you hit four. So we'll probably go there, hit four, and then make you go invisible. But anyway, Tinker, you got a move four and an attack. I think I might actually blow you on these two guys, just to get rid of them. Because the you're gonna try taking care of these. Um, yeah, let's try to get rid of those archers. They're by far the ones that hit the hardest. So, four damage. Um, you do have advantage. We'll do that. And I guess... Well, the guards have more shield. I do have another attack or two. So, I think I'll save the, the bow for that. We're just going to use advantage on this. So, it's four damage. Generate dark on these two guys. Uh, plus zero or plus zero. So, four damage. Three. Perfect. And... Miss or plus zero, so one, two, three. Unfortunately, it was the one that was wounded, but lost. And then we're going to move one. Uh, wh who's all going next? Earth and Frost Demon, are you going to be able to take care of this archer? I don't think so. Uh, so we're going to keep you back, actually. We're going to tuck you in there a little bit, grab a coin.
And this is where maybe I should have run in there and tried healing the Sunkeeper a little bit for like 5 health, but for how much damage they do, the Sunkeeper is basically just, is just dead right now. Um, Tinker is done. Spellweaver. So you're going to use this as a move jump to go here. And you're going to attack these guys. You're going to generate earth. I don't think you use earth. Oh, you are. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, cool. The earth team is going to kill the archer. Good. Uh, so this is going to be three damage and we're going to do advantage. And hit all these guys. So starting in order. Three damage. Four damage. Uh, they have, what, two shield, I think? Two shield. So two damage. Okay, next one. Blast or plus zero. So that's uh, three, six damage. So one, two, three, four. And then we're going to hit this one. Minus two or minus one. So two damage, one damage. And then this one. Plus one or times two, so six damage. And one, two, three, four, five, unfortunately. Okay, so lost. I gotta make sure to grab the blast before it gets shuffled again. Okay. Not bad, Spellweaver. And then we're gonna make you go invisible just to protect you. Oh boy. Okay, Earth Demon. You are attacking in place. You're gonna consume that Earth we just happened to generate. And. Range for two target. I don't think you have two targets though. One, two, three, four. You only have this one. One, two, three, four. You can't reach that. So we're just going to have you attack that. And you're doing uh, four damage. Five damage. Boom. Good job. Okay. That's your demon. Now the frost demon. Like I said, you're going to help eventually, right? Uh, one movement. Great. And generate ice, though. Uh, one movement. Bloop. Quit imitating the tinker and get the hell in there. Um, I was thinking about, like, summoning this thing, and I might have to yet. Because if I... S mm. You're going last. If I go quick, I could actually get an attack in on that. Um, unfortunately, I have to summon it behind me, so I guess we'll do that. So we're going to summon that right here. And then we're going to use this to attack stun. Maybe this one? Because if we draw a plus one, we'll kill it, right? Might as well. Okay, let's, let's attack that one for generating frost, which is already generated. And um, anything else that can help us with this? No? Next turn, we'll use the boots and stuff to get a nice big attack, so. Um, times two. That's two damage. That kills it. Good job. Okay. Well, that's that round. Um, you can negate one more source of damage, I guess. Uh, I guess we could make you run away. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> About that. <laughs> All right, Mind Thief, you're going to go quick, and uh, we're going to try using this Battle Axe to get a two-target nice big attack stun on these two guards. Your little guy is going to attack the Archer, which means the Archer will attack it. And Spellweaver, what do we have for you? Um, That two-target melee and that might not be a bad idea, but uh, our plan is to move on to the chest, I think. So really, I just want to go quick, get away from the guard with a move of some sort. Maybe this? Uh, reverse order, of course. Come on. Come on. Next turn, we'll do the three, two damage thing. Okay. And then Tinkerer, that's all you got, huh? Without resting, that is. Um, do you have any shot of getting in there and helping the Sunkeeper? I mean, the Sunkeeper basically has this turn a long rest, next turn a long rest. So not a whole lot, but it wouldn't be a bad idea for you to get in there. Two, one, two, three. You could certainly get in there and heal him. If we go quick enough. 
As long as the guard doesn't draw a 15 and attack, of course. Alright, what do we got? Flame Demon, the guard is 15, and the guard is attacking. Of course. Well, that means this is the Sun Keeper's second to last turn, I guess. Flame Demon, you go first. We got not attacking as hard, so you're doing one damage, and you're generating fire. Well, that's helpful for next turn, at least. Uh, what is your focuses? You, one, two, three, you're focusing this one for one damage. Zero, so nothing. And you're focusing this one for one damage. Miss. Yeah, I didn't really want you to pull the misses. The flame demons are basically acting as tanks. If they're at a higher level, they'd be retaliating and stuff, but... Uh, man, there's so many people under 20s this turn. <laughs> okay, so the Spellweaver's gonna go grab the chest. Uh, versatile Dagger. That's nice. That's actually really good to get for uh, this uh, this song class coming up, or note music note class coming up. I'll show you what it is in a bit. Uh, okay, so we got Versatile Dagger. I'll take care of that later. And then she is going to attack for... Uh, what do we want? Probably the Dark, since nobody else uses it. We already got rid of your metal thing. So we're consuming the dark and we're making this a three damage attack. And might as well attack the archer, try to kill it. What's the boss doing? The boss healing. The boss is healing. Yeah, so let's uh let's attack the archer then. Because the mind thief's gonna be attacking these two guys. Um, or do we want to soften up this dude so the mind thief can finish him off? It's the uh we'll we'll be safe. We're gonna attack this one to help the mind thief. Mind Thief's got a 3 damage, 5 damage attack. Which he can use. Um, I didn't give him a move 4. What was I thinking? I was going to move 4 and then do that. Well. Uh, too late now, I guess. Uh, but he's going to be going invisible, so I don't have to really worry about him. I think I'll... No, let's just... Uh, the, what am I talking about? They're going to be stunned anyways. Who cares? So let's... Yeah, let's attack this one. Um, which is going to be 3 damage. Minus one, so two damage, one after the shield. Alright, uh, next is the Mind Thief. The Mind Thief is going to be using the Frost and doing a three damage, two target, five damage with the Augment. Oh, hold on a second, before I do that, sorry. The This guy is going to attack this guy, and it takes for uh, two damage. So one, and poison. Which means that guards heal will not actually heal them up, but they'll keep them there, which is nice. Alright, now we're doing that. We consumed the the consumed the thing. Um, and I probably should poison one just because. So this is five damage. Five damage with poison to two targets. And I want to poison this one in case I don't kill it. So five damage, starting with this one. So zero, so four. That's just enough to kill that one. And then this one. Bless. Perfect. Thank God. Okay, so that one's dead. And then I'm using this to stay invisible again. So your thing was to kill an elite, right? So there you go. You got that one. Good job. And you're gonna get this one. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking spell a sun keeper, goddammit. Uh, okay, uh, so good job, Mind Thief. Uh, you did a lot of work there. Um, which means the demons will now start focusing these guys, which is good. Okay, so now the Mind Thief went, now the guards are gonna go. There are only three guards left. Unfortunately, this one's next to the Sun Keeper. And the guards are attacking for three damage. So unless it's a miss, and it's not, the Sun Keeper has to discard. Okay. Archers. Starting with number three. What are the archers doing? They're moving and attacking. So this archer is going to hit for two damage. He's going to move back. And attack for two damage. Plus two. Sunkeeper does not have any means to protect herself anymore. Oh, hold on. Sorry. 
This guard took two for retaliate. I forgot about that. Okay. Uh, Sunkeeper, unfortunately, does not have any way to negate the damage, so the Sunkeeper has exhausted. I'm just so used to playing her with, with level 9 and all the other stuff and just run in there and tank. <laughs> I gotta be a little more cautious with her and prevent damage more so than just tank a ton. Alright, so that's this one. Uh, number 5 is next. That's this one. Uh, range 5. Attack. Two. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, so you're attacking this one. Minus one, so that is one damage and one pierce, which is not enough to do anything to you because you have two or two shield or three shield actually on the fire demons. Okay, and then uh, you're gonna go. You take a tick. And then you're going to focus the minion, because that's the one you can. Take a step back. And you're going to hit like a times two. Minus one. Okay, good. So that is, what do you say? One damage. So one damage to that minion. It has six health, so it's down to five. Okay, that is the archers, right? Yep. I'm going to kill the sun keeper. Yep, yep. Okay. Archers, tinkerer, what are you doing again? You were planning to run in there and heal, but that's not going to happen, so... Um, I think we're just going to have you run in there and poison something to prevent the heal from the, the boss, probably. Heal two all adjacent allies, probably not going to be useful, so we're just going to use you as a move two. And then we're going to attack three, two damage to this guy. Uh, so nothing because of his two shield. But he is now poisoned, which will prevent the heal. Swell. Okay, that's the Tinker. Wind Demon, what are you doing? You are attacking and pulling again. Range 4, attack 3 damage, generating wind. Range 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The guards went first. One, two, three, four. This is by far the fastest one, so you'll attack that one. For three, four damage. Um, did I just kill it? Three for the elite, yep. Yeah. Four, five with poison, minus two. Nice, good job. You guys are finally doing something useful. Sunkeeper's dead, of course. Frost demon. Hey, you're actually going to do something this turn, I think. Move three, attack two. One, two, three. No. <laughs> but you, you're, you'll tank for the tinker at least. All right, frost demon boss. The boss is again special one. Heal two, all allies and self. So heal two. Uh, who's all damaged? You are. You are. The one that was poisoned's dead, and you just lose the poison and the wound. Okay. All right, that's the boss. Earth Demon, what are you doing? You are moving three. One, two, three. Sweet. Not sure what you're attacking though, but getting in the room is definitely closer than not getting in the room, so. Uh, it's getting pretty crowded in here. Alright, that's the end of the round. Sunkeeper, you're dead. Mind Thief, you're cloaked. Um, the problem with long resting is that this guy's gonna go last. Spellweaver, what do you have left? You were gonna hope for fire. Oh, yeah, there is fire. Okay, then you can attack and wound this guy. And then maybe even summon your guides, which will actually help a lot. Okay. Tinkerer, you need to rest. Probably one of the better ones to lose. And what do you got? Um, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of place for that anymore. Unless these two guys group up or something, but... Uh, your attack poison's not a bad idea, though. You and all adjacent gain plus one. Can you reach that guy? Yeah, so you can just reach that guy. You'll uh, power up these two guys and anything else adjacent to you. Not bad. Mind Thief, um, I think we'll just short rest. 
Uh, that's your attack for jump model. What else is in here? I kind of would rather lose the push the loot. Um, I'm gonna pay one life. It's gonna be the the stun bottom. Yep, what I tell ya. Okay, so what do we want you to do? We want you to go quicker before the guards, which is mean, mean like 11 or 14. Uh, 14 would mean we could stay stunned, or stay invisible. And it also means we can come out, pop an attack on this thing. Or uh, let this thing, whichever one's quicker, potentially kill one and then we could kill the other. So what do we want for a top attack then? Or burning cards. Uh, um, I guess we could pull one, two, three, four, five, six. We could pull this one back, which means I have to reshuffle. Then, no, I, I already made my decision. I, I wasn't gonna pull that back. So, um, with negative conditions on it, if it's poisoned, that would do an extra damage. Um, this would allow me to move. I think I'll do these two together. And we said the Sunkeeper's resting, so. Okie dokie, here we go. So much stuff. Okay, uh, Mind Thief goes first. Who, what's everybody doing? You're attacking. You're going two target, that's great. Guard's going late. The boss is moving two target. Okay, that's not, I'm just, I don't care about the boss at this point. It's just a matter of killing all the stuff. He's more of a support boss anyways. Mobilize all enemies. Uh, there isn't any frost for you, and you're attacking two targets, but less damage. Okay. I think we got a plan here. So first, the pet is going to go. Uh, the archers go before, so the guy will go here, 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 and attack the archer for two damage. You wasted my times too. Uh, so four damage and poison, so three damage, one, two, three, because of the one shield. Okay, so Tinker, Tinker, what? Mind Thief, uh, we're going to make the Mind Thief use the top of this so we can get um, a coin, because why not? And then uh, going to attack for three damage to the guard. Minus one, two damage, god damn it. Oh, wait, that's not a guard, that's an archer, he's dead. Did I miss that archer attack at some point then? No, he backed up. When did that other guard die? Oh, it's getting late. Uh, okay, anyway. So maybe that thing should have attacked that instead. I didn't see what number it was. Was it one? Or was it, like, or was it six? I think it was six, wasn't it? Because six was back here. Anyway. Uh, sorry. Moving on. Uh, Tinker, so you're done. You're still invisible. Tinker is going to poison this dude. One, two, three range for two damage. So um, the normal guards only have one shield, so that one actually does get through. And a poison. And then I'll have you move up, I guess, grab a coin. Boy, for pop and pull and potables, you haven't done much healing yet. Uh, Tinker, now the Frost Demon. You are immobilizing all enemies within range 2, which is this dude. Oh. Okay. Thanks, Frost Demon. Uh, Flame Demon, you are generating me fire. Uh, attacking range 3, 2 damage. Um, you actually, you guys actually need to move this time. Oh, you don't, but you do. Uh, so you're just going to attack that one for two damage. Three, four, one, two, three. Gets by. You need to move up and go attack against this one. Four, oh, crap. Two, 
three, four, five, and four gets by. Good job, Flame Demon. Spellweaver. Well, you were gonna run up and wound something, but I think you're just gonna have to go and grab two coins. Um, so you could use it as a base to move and then heal something. Does anything need healing? Mind Thief is down one. Um, one, two, three. Well, how about we heal the Earth Demon then? Since that's the only thing that has taken damage yet. Okay. Uh, Spellweaver Earth Demon. What are you doing, Mr. Earth Demon? You are moving three. Nice. One, two, three, which means you're going to get an attack and on something for a change. Uh, four, minus one, so three damage. Two damage. Three with poison. Two gets by. Dead. Wind Demon. You're consuming air and attacking two targets for four damage apiece at range four. Blam. One, two, three, four. So you're attacking the guard and the archer. And starting with the archer. I forgot how much damage it was. Four. So four damage to the archer. Miss. Four damage to the guard. Three damage to the guard. Two gets by. Okay. And you consumed air. Wind Demon. Boss. The boss is moving one space, attacking for two damage. Range 3, target 2. Range 3, target 2. Okay. And 2 damage piece, I said. So 2 damage starting with the Earth Demon. And 2 damage to the Frost Demon. Got it. Archer! What are you doing? You're attacking 2 targets for 2 damage. Uh, well, all these guys are the same distance from you, so which one was quickest? Flame Demon? Frost Demon. Frost Demon's quickest, and then the Flame Demon. Okay, so Frost, then Flame, and we said for 2 damage with Pierce 1. 2 damage, Pierce 1. 1 damage. So the other one, 2 damage, Pierce 1. Uh, 2 damage, Pierce 1. He has 3 shields, so it still does not get through. Okay. All right, that's the archer. The guard. Guard is moving one space and attacking for three damage. One, two, three. Okay. And that is the round, finally. Oh, my God. You need to rest. That is okay. We do have fire again, so we could try wounding something. Not a bad idea. Can we get within wound or attack range? Move to attack and wound the guard? Yeah, I guess we could do that. Go quick before the guard to make sure we can get that attack in. All right, Tinkerer, you aren't really just st stun lock that archer if we can get it. Um, do you have a move? That I know that is your move. Do you have a different move? <laughs> In here? No, we actually don't have that move, huh? Well, the archer is just going to be a pain then. And the boss can't be stunlocked, I assume. Yeah, that'd be too easy. Okay. So, what do we do with you? Just start attacking the boss, I guess? Your biggest attack is... Can the boss be poisoned? Yes. You don't have a poison, though. Um, you know what? We got enough ranged guys around us. I think we'll just uh, sh um, do this. Can you reach the guard? You can reach the guard. Okay, so we'll stun the guard, and then we'll just um, power up the guys around us. And then the mine thief. You're kind of way away right now, so you need at least to move forward to get up there. Hey, look at that. Um, and we don't have frost. But that's our biggest attack, so we'll do it anyway. Because we can't generate frost anymore, so... And you're long rested. Okay. What do we got? Spellweaver guard. Guard, what are you doing? Attacking in place. Okay, so let's try and kill that before we do that. So the Spellweaver can move two. It has to move two here in order to be in two range. Consume the fire. And do a three damage. 
attack against the guard. Plus one. Four damage. Three gets by. Dead. Sweet. Alright, so... The guard is dead, so it doesn't mean anything. Tinkerer is next. Um... Uh, yeah, so we said the Tinker was just gonna st was going to stun the guard, but I think the Tinker just stand in place and give plus one shield. I thought that was the damage one. Oh well, then screw it. I'm gonna make you move then. Um, I'll make you move two and attack one the boss. Boom. That can't be right. Did you see how much health that boss had? Hold on a second here. The boss has 9 times the characters, so that should be 36. You have 10? Oh, I guess I spawned it myself. Um, yeah, you should be up to 36 here. There. Whoops. <laughs> what? He only has 10? No, it's a boss. Of course it has more. It's, like, like I said, it's from when I started it revealed... It had everything on it, including the ones that shouldn't have been on there, so I had to remove it. And then when I spawned a new one, it didn't have the right health. Okay, uh, so you got one damage there. And you don't have any shield, just double checking. No shield, okay. Tinker, Mind Thief, you no longer have a thing to reach. This thing's gonna move one. It's gonna go up there. Um, we'll make you grab those coins, since you can't reach anyway. Discard. Okay, Mind Thief is done. Archer is next. You are attacking range 6 for 2 damage and immobilizing. Once again, these guys are all the same. Which one's quickest? Flame Demon. Alright, you're attacking the Flame Demon. For basically no damage, because that's 1 damage with 1 pierce. Okay, so the Flame Demon's immobilized. Alright, Archer Flame Demon. Uh, what are you guys doing? You are attacking two targets, wound. No fire to consume. You only have range three. One, two, three, which means you can't attack. You, on the other hand, can move and attack, so you have move three. One, two, three, which allow you to attack both. Um, starting with the boss, because the boss is closest. I believe it's just zero damage because it cancels. Yeah, so zero damage to the boss. One, not bad. And then to the archer, zero. But wound, which we like to see. And you can't be wounded. Yep. <sighs> Too bad. Okay, so frost demon, or sorry, flame demon. Now the wind demon goes. The wind demon is. Attacking melee. Is there is there air? There is not. So you're going to move four and melee. One, two, three, boom. One, two, three, boom. Archer were first. Archer was first. So you're going to hit for three damage. Four damage. So one, two, three, after shield. Alright, Frost Demon. Are you going to get an attack in? You get to move two and attack three. Ah, <gasps> the frost demon gets to do something for a change. Two damage, okay. Uh, the boss now goes, the boss is special one. Heal all allies and self for two. So that heals this and two. Heals himself for two. Earth demon. You are moving two spaces. And attacking, so one, two, and attacking for four damage. Eight damage, nice. Alright, and that is the round. Almost done. Almost done. Mind Thief, you do have your boots. Uh, I think we'll just make you grab those, though. Do you have any move threes? You have that move three top, I guess. Uh, you know what? We'll make you do this and uh, grab some coins. Although, you, how many coins am I going to have left over? Not, um, I'm trying to remember here. 
We're actually getting a pretty significant amount of gold for this thing. Getting a few more coins would push me... Um, ah, man. How close would I be? How many more coins would I need? I got two here. This would make me at, what, 12? I have 22. Ah, that's about the perfect amount. Okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll do that with you. We'll let you get those coins. Um, nothing to really attack, so we'll just make you... What? Make you move up. Spellweaver. Not much choice. But that's okay. Tinker, what kind of attack you got? You got a two target. Move and heal all. Actually, that's pretty good. You got two targets to heal, so we'll do that. Alright. Flame Demon, Mind Thief, Archer. Okay, Flame Demon. Moving and creating traps. You... No. Don't do that. Um, so number four, what's your movement? Two. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the archers first, so we'll go one, two. The nearest empty hex would be here, and you're going to go here. Nearest empty hex is there, so basically just one more trap here. Yeah. I mean, we could put one out there. It doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, no fire to consume, so that's it. Mind thief, we're going to make you go. Oh, wait, that's where the tinkerer wants to go. Your little pet's gonna go first. Uh, well, you know what? We could uh, we could go he here and then loot next turn, I guess. So heal yourself for one. Cause we still have that uh, loot top, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's what the mind thieves doing. The archer is attacking less, only two damage. And um, it's going to hit the Wind Demon, because that's the one right in front of you. Four damage. The... F oh, crap. Uh, so, one shield. That's three damage to the Wind Demon. The Pierce does not get doubled. Okay. Tinkerer, you were going to move here. Well, Frost Team is going first. What's the boss doing? The boss is moving and attacking two targets. That is a heal top, so I can certainly... Oh, but I want to get the attack in. Which one's going to die? Probably this guy. So we'll go one, two, three, and then you're full. And we'll finally use a, a tick of potent potables here. Not much healing this turn. Alright, and then a uh, 2 damage attack to the boss. Plus 0. Okay, that's all you're doing. Wait, was that a burn heal? 2? No, it's just 1. Okay. Alright, and then uh, who's next? Tinkerer, Spellweaver's next. There's no elements for you to generate. So we'll just make you move up 1 with this and then attack for 2. Uh, next is the Wind Demon. The Wind Demon is attacking for 3 damage, generating wind, and pulling. So the Wind Demon is going to go here, attack for 3 damage, 4 damage, so 1, 2, 3, and pull. be kind of interesting if, the, like, if he did it again, he'd pull him into a trap, which would be really cool. Not going to happen, though. Uh, so the boss is... Moving one space, attacking for two damage, range three, two target. Moving one space. The flame demons were first. Followed by the frost demons, so these two are going to get hit. And how much damage did I say? One damage, uh... Two damage? Two damage piece. So starting with the flame demon, two damage, nothing. Frost demon, two damage, one damage. Okay. Frost Demon is next. The Frost Demon gets to move one space. Actually, it's not going to because it's an attack range. There's no Frost, so the attack will just do for three damage to the boss. Four damage. One, two, three, four. Okay. Earth Demon, what are you doing? 
moving for one and hitting for five, generating leaf. Moving for one, hitting for five, hitting for four. One, two, three, four, generating leaf, and that's the round. Oh, okay. You need rest. Eh, that's probably fine. We have elements now, so we'll use these two just to get rid of them. Get one of them. Um, I'll make you rest. We need the loot card. That's fine. Like I said, we're going to loot the two coins. Uh, I, gu I guess we want to move here and loot three coins, I guess. So the loot top. Uh, we're already at full health is already a loot, so it's just any old. We'll do this one. Why not? And Tinkerer, you need to rest as well. Your poison? Actually, no. We really want your poison. We're going to use that right now. Should have used it earlier, but... Alright. Lose the stun. Boss can't be stunned anyway, so we're going to use your poison. Are you already within range of the boss? One, two, three, you are. So then let's uh, add plus one to your attacks. And start, start the round. Spellweaver goes first. We do have elements. Are you using the element? You're just generating, okay. And the earth demon is certainly using it for a push. I don't really want him to push, so we'll probably use the Earth. Alright, so you're gonna move two. Because you beat the Tinker. You're gonna move two. And you're going to hit the boss for three damage. Three damage. Okay. Mind Thief goes next. The Mind... Th oh, you dumb fuck. Here. You're going here and hitting the boss for 3 damage. Okay, Mind Thief is going to go here. I forgot that Mind Thief was going to go there. Grab 3 coins. A little bit overkill, actually, but that's fine. Okay, Mind Thief. Next is the boss. The boss is special 2. All allies add plus 1 attack and then doesn't attack 1. Uh, attack plus one, so he's going to hit the Earth Demon for four damage. One, two, three, four. Okay. Earth Demon takes four. Uh, everybody else gets plus one. Next is the Tinkerer. Tinkerer, what were you going to do? You were going to attack and poison the boss. Add plus one to your rolls and then poison the boss. So three damage to the boss. Plus two. Three. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're poisoned. And we generated leaf. So it didn't matter that we consume the leaf at all. Um, all adjacent allies, but unless you're doing range, which I don't think you are. Nope. Okay. So I'll just discard it just for... Uh, Alright, Wind Demon. You are... Oh. <laughs> Please miss. I really want this to happen. Please miss. Yes! It happened! Oh my god, the RNG gods graced me with their presence. Alright. He pulled the arch onto the fucking trap. <laughs> oh, that is great. Yes. <laughs> uh, highlight of the night, for sure. I may even have to make that as a highlight reel, so whatever time this is. I don't have a time on next, but um, just one turn at a time. Wind Demon pulls on trap. Do they have two of those abilities? Or... Oh, it's a shuffle. That's why. Got it. I was going to say, how did that come up again? Uh, Wind Demon. Flame Demon is next. The Flame Demon is consuming fire. There is no fire, so just doing a single target attack from where they're standing for three damage. Uh, three range, sorry. One, two, three. They all have three range. So it's two damage apiece. 
So two damage, three damage, four damage, one, two, three, four, and uh, zero damage, one with poison. Oh, okay. The frost demon's gonna get the last hit, isn't he? <laughs> Archers don't go. Frost demon gets to move one space and attack for two damage. Yep. Frost Demon finishes it off, and then Earth Demon, of course, does nothing. So, wow, that was uh, a lot to keep track of, even more so than the uh, the Gloomhaven Square, and we'll get to that some other day. But oh boy, that's that was a lot longer of a scenario, and a lot more draining than I thought it would be. Traitors, idiots! The captain spits blood in your face. You've doomed everyone in this town. Why would you do this? A shadow is cast over his fallen body. He looked to see the tall, bleeding figure of the prime demon standing over him. Wealth, power, all the things you humans scrabble after every day of your miserable lives. These mercenaries, however, were fortunate enough to find someone who would actually give it to them instead of making empty promises. I will stay true to my word. Only those who opposed me will die. The rest are free to continue to live and toil in this place under my rule. I will return to my room and plan my next move. Over the next few weeks, the city settles back into its routine. Very little changes except that demons become an everyday sight in the city and taxes are now given to these overlords instead of the human overlords Gloomyhaven had previously. One day, you wake to find a deformed demon standing over you, holding a parchment that looks like some sort of skin. I find myself desiring your help once again, mortals, it reads. It appears that many opposition forces in Gloomhaven escaped my grasp and are now camping out in the southern foothills, plotting to take back the city. Such machinations are surely fruitless, but still, it is better to crush them now than wait to see what they do. Which unlocks scenario 45, the Rebel Swamp. Okay. Uh, before I read the... Well, you're fine, we'll read it out. Uh, global achievements, city rule, demonic instead of militaristic, and artifact lost. Lost party achievement, Demon's Errand, which basically means we can't do the Gloomhaven Battlements B, is all that is. Rewards, 30 gold each, minus 5 reputation, which is what we're going for, so that's great. Minus 2 prosperity, which again, we're at level 2, so we can't go any further than that. Um, although we do we do lose that one that we got from the... Um, uh, the road event, unfortunately, and then add city 70 city event 79 to the deck. So I'll, I'll Get all that done as soon as we figure out um, the, uh, the summary here Okay, so indignant Ludo money tokens. Well, you did that Sunkeeper not to mention dying really fucking early <laughs> I'm exhaust But I guess we didn't really need to do that well um, you got a check mark. I don't really care to be honest because you're going to be retiring. You got, um, uh, we got what, 30 gold a piece? Okay, so you got seven coins. That's 14. So you got 44 gold from that. Why did I think I was going to be about 50? Seven gold is 14 plus 30. Huh. Huh. Anyway, uh, Spell Weaver, you got. Did you get your check mark? Take only long rests? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Well, it was kind of a hectic battle, so no, you did not get that. Um, you got 36 gold. You got item design, versatile dagger. And this is a design, not a, uh, not an actual weapon. Tinkerer, you got four gold, so 34. And don't care about the check mark. Okay, and you, you of course got one exhaust, so. All right, we will load it back up, and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, then. Um, I guess we should just clean up the map quick here. That is not how you do that. Also not how you do that. Delete monsters, delete scenario. All right, so we have finished. We have battlements A, and then B, so much of this one, we're gonna mark with a chest. Just to remind that uh, we'll go back there casual at some point um, and get the chest. Uh, also, because of that, we unlock the Rebel Swamp 45, which is what our spell we needs to retire, so that's great. We lost this prosperity check, 
We also lost five reputation. One, two, three, four, five. Which means we now have a two item. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny. Okay, which means uh, these guys should be able to retire now, I think. So you got 30 gold from that, so one, two, three. You also got one exhaust and two check marks. So we'll mark that down. You got 44 gold. Yeah, I don't know why I thought I would have a 60 at the end, because I still need 10 to buy the potion, right? Um, you got just 36, so 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no check marks. You got 34, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. Alright, and then uh, we also unlock versa uh, Versatile Dagger. That's one of the prosperity ones. Prosperity 5. Ah, there we go. Wait, is this a design? Oh. We got a, we, we got that design already? Is that right? 61. Um, like, we, we, we can normally get it from... Um, leveling up in Prosperity. It's just kind of weird to have that in a scenario. As a design, anyways. Um, sure wasn't a versatile dagger. It was actually just... Um, what was the chest number? 61? Let me go check that quick. Come on. Scroll down. Scroll down further. A little bit more. 61. Versatile... No, it's not a design. It's an actual versatile dagger. It's not a design. It's an actual dagger. Ah, uh, shit. Was that our prosperity... So yeah, um, you got a you got an actual dagger. It's not a design. Cool. Which means this next twenty-five gold, you're not going to use this, of course. Um, in fact, we're going to sell it right back. We'll get twelve right away. Um, it's going to go in this item supply, and we will be using it very shortly. In fact. Okay. So that said. I'm honestly considering selling some of the Sunkeeper stuff just to <laughs> just to get the 100 gold right away. Okay, so first things first, uh, we're going to spend 10 gold on you to buy the last item you need, which is any old potion, really. So just verifying this, we need four small items, so one, two, three, four. We need two helms, two chest plates, two boots, and three weapons. One, two, three. All right, the Mind Thief is successfully retiring, which means the Tinkerer is also successfully retiring. All right, and we'll get to that in a second here. Which means you have access to those boots now if you want, or we can uh, maybe work on getting this range. This is 60 for this range, and this would make this a 5 attack, essentially. You can also make this a, f uh, a 4 attack. This is a 4 attack is more useful than this is a 4 attack, by far. Um, I'm seriously considering doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, so Mind Thief, you are officially done. Now, it's just a matter of spending this last 44 gold. Unfortunately, that means we can only get any uh, some sort of move upgrade on you. Um, what would be a good move upgrade on you? This you can make a move 5 jump, but move 4 is pretty decent for you already. Making this top a move 5 might not be a bad idea. Honestly, I don't know. I think making this a move three is is probably best because it's it needs to be slightly better than a uh, a base move. Where did I plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one? So we're gonna upgrade your move here. 
Unless, um, hold on, do we have? We don't have 50, shoot. I was gonna say, if we had 50, we could make that up like a, a strength in self or something, but, um, I guess we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna make it a move, please. Move. Alrighty, so then we'll put that in the deck. And we'll just delete the rest of this because... Uh, oh, she has 14 gold left. We will donate once to the... Uh, donate once to the Sanctuary. Perfect. Okay. And then the rest can be deleted because she doesn't need it. So, her quest was to unlock spears. Or three, uh, three spears. Uh, which is this class here. And we'll get rid of you. Get rid of you keep you. We unlock spears, so we don't need you. And three spears is the quartermaster. Aside from uh, Sunkeeper, it's my second favorite character, I think, so far. Although I haven't really gotten a whole lot of experience with a lot of them, but this is a pretty nice class. It's essentially another melee class, um, but um, a tanky type class. Uh, so you go here. You don't have any summons, do you? I don't think you do. Uh, we'll set it back here. Uh, we got starting abilities, which is all you're going to use. Advance, we can just leave in here and then attack modifiers. Quartermaster gets some really nice abilities later on, but... Alright, so you got one. I think we'll have a tr uh, leave some trophies down here. Kind of like we did with the Brute, you know? You've retired a Brute, you've retired a Mine Thief. Which means you get a bronze perk... Probably uh, negative item effects and add two plus ones is pretty easy for you. Um, let's make you pillar two. And it's not real. Please go away. Battle interface. Battle interface. For some reason you're stuck here. There we go. What the hell? I don't know what's wrong with you. Anyway, let's just get you out of the way. Um, plus uh, two plus one. Nope, not deal. There's one, there's one. Not rolling plus ones, but actual plus ones. And this one also has 10 health, I think. Yeah, yeah you're definitely a lot tankier. Alright, uh, you only got 30 gold, like everybody else. You got one perk, ignore item effects. Your starting abilities, we'll get to in a sec. Alright, and then we'll uh, we'll update the Mind Thief deck here. And then we you move heal. We're replacing you. There it is. Placing you with one with the sticker. Alright, and then we're going to... Oh, this is going to be difficult. Mind Thief, we're going to reset and go like this. Did that work? I hope it worked. <laughs> Starting abilities. Hey, it worked. Cool. What is this? Oh, the one we got out. Okay. So it's Mind Thief. Um, we'll get to you in a sec. So Tinkerer. Unlike the Mind Thief, you actually get to sell your stuff, so we get 5 back for this, 30 for those two, and 10 for this. So 45. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's a lot of money. And so we're going to keep you as this, as a trophy. Delete. Uh, well, we could have saved... I don't think we're going to use those. So 146 is a lot. Um, these multi-target ones, getting like a fourth. Oh, you can't get a fourth. Getting a fourth on this. 146. What do we want? What do we want? Not so much the heals. They, uh, being level one, it's not really going to be all that beneficial. Honestly, thinking something like this. Um, even adding a wound onto this ink bomb would be a lot. Because it's, it's... it's uh, unless they got like a big AoE heal or something, this would be pretty, pretty good. And I always prefer to use this one over something else. 
Um, adding one more hex. Nah, I'm th I think I'll leave that one alone. Like I said, I'm not really interested in the heals. This uh, this move, ah, oh, shoot, I was gonna say this heal allies would be nice, cause you could uh, like buff it with a bless or something, but no, you can't. That's unfortunate. And that's the other thing too, is you could uh, take one of these heal heal threes and add a bless to it or something. Uh, so how much? I don't have the. It's in the 40s somewhere. 45, I think. That was close. 47. Okay, so if we want to add wound, we need 150, which we don't have. Shoot. That's unfortunate. I say that a lot, I know. It's 75, but you have to double it because it's an AoE. You're just short. Why didn't you grab a couple more coins? <laughs> Okay, uh, so next thing would be to make an extra hex, I guess. Um, it's 200 gold divided by the number of hexes, and there's three hexes, so it'd be like 67 gold to add a hex to these. And we could do that to two of them. We can't do it to the black one, obviously, but this one we could do it to. Uh, and we can only enhance two cards because we're Prosperity Level 2. So, not you. So if we, uh, and the cool thing about enhancing one of these is that we can also, when we apply it, we can actually mirror it too. Okay, uh, so as we said, 200 divided by three is 67. And then 67 times two is 133, 112. Plus four, uh, 14, uh, 134. So we'd actually have 12 gold left, so we could donate as well. Okay. And so, here's some stickers. Bloop. And bloop. Cool. And then we'll, uh, like I said, with the 12 gold or whatever we have left, we will donate to the church. And then we'll put you in the new cards. And you unlock music box. Not music box, music note, sorry. Alright. First things first, let's reset the tinkers. Starting abilities. All right, uh, Tinker resets. Just checking. Nope, not advanced. Not attack modifiers. Where are you? Starting abilities. Here we go. And perfect. Good. Okay, and then we got music notes, which is called a sooth singer. It's another support class. Part of the reason why I gave it to the tank so that when the tank would retire, it's immediately replaced by another support class. Uh, we need you, of course. We need your starting abilities and your attack modifiers. Uh, did I not save your health icon things? You're still green, yeah? And you also have one. So Spellweaver, you need to hurry up. You're, you're already behind. Joke, of course. I like that they have health, but for some reason, they're backwards. 
actually you were pretty close. Okay. Um Oh yeah, so you got a you got a free perk. What would be most useful given that you don't do a whole lot of attacking? I don't know offhand to be honest. Um move the minus two, maybe. Replace two plus ones with one plus four. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so, so she, like I said, we get 30 gold. The, uh, that versatile dagger is really useful for her because, uh, she doesn't do a whole lot of attacking. When she does, it's always a base 2 top. So this makes it a default base 3, which is nice. But it costs 25, of course. Um, yeah, given, given we now have that, uh, penalty, I'm not entirely sure what to do. Um... Let's start with the Quartermaster. The Quartermaster seems a lot more intuitive to me because I've played the Quartermaster before. Uh, with 30 gold, given that we have the item thing, probably want um, the chest plate. Makes sense. Forgo a potion, I guess. Basically, I'm, I'm stuck to two 10 items if I want two items. Um, this is really all I can do right now. What is your starting abilities? What are your starting abilities here? then how are we gonna do this Re refresh one of your consumed items so maybe I should get a potion then all allies may refresh one ally may refresh all of their spent items which would be good for like you it's also move four. shield two. Yeah, man I wish the Sun Keeper had that um, a impaling spear arcing attack move attack shield shield all allies attack range loot two once during you, if you use an item, add plus one to your entire attack action. A heal. So that's the question. What do I want to do? Do I want to make him a support character or do I want to make him a, a damage? Well, I, I kind of lost the damage from the Mind Thief, so I probably want to make you go damage. Um, so I think we're going to get rid of you. You're a nice, fast initiative. That's why I want to keep you in there. A heal. You and all allies, range 2, add plus 1 to all your attacks. So if you're not moving, that'd be a good one. All allies, range 2, refresh one of their spent items and that consumed. The problem with the, him is that he only has a, a hand size of 9, so burn cards are not really a good thing for him until, like, level 6 or level 7. So I'm going to try to stay away from the burn cards if I can. One adjacent ally may refresh all of their spent items, so this could run up to the Sun Keeper and get all of his back. Sun Keeper now has enough money to buy another weapon. And I'm thinking like Battle Axe, probably. Okay, so Hide Armor. Pretty straightforward, I think, for you, and I think we are gonna get a, like a stamina potion for you. Given you only have nine, um, getting that stamina potion is important. Okie dokie. Items pretty easy. Don't have a lot of money. Uh, cost you two more, so you have cost you what twelve each, so you got six left. Same thing with the Soothsinger, although I might, uh... Soothsinger also only has 9? Yeah, we, we went from a 10 and a 12 to two 9s and an 8. Oh, man. Okay. Um, I think we're probably going to have to get you a stamina potion as well, Soothsinger, and then for a 10... Gosh, um... I really don't know, to be honest. The big problem with the Sioux Singer is movement, usually. One of the big problems is movement. That's where those boots come into play, but... Uh, start with the Stamina Potion, so that's 12. Oh, okay, uh, I still need to get rid of a card for you yet. No, uh, that's a really nice initiative. I'm gonna just... I, like I said... Okay, what, uh, what sort of movements we got? Five, four, four, four. This is pretty much required just because of your hand size. 
I'm thinking getting rid of this. Or maybe this. No, we, we need we need some sort of range. Uh, the loot too. Refresh all your consumed items. That's probably an easy one then. Unless we need to loot something, but... We can do a lot of just movement and... Because yeah, the, the cool thing about the Mine Thieves loot is that the bottom is useful, this one not so much. Refresh all your consumed items, all one of them you mean? No thanks, I'd rather use that one. What do we have for attack bottom? Oh, this is our attack bottom. Mm -hmm. Nah, we pretty much need movements on them, so I, th I think we'll start with that and uh, we'll make some changes as we need them. Uh, so to you, what do you have in your starting hand? Whenever you would curse, curse more. I think uh, her main song is going to be this, Shield All Allies. This essentially gives my sh my uh, Sunkeeper two shield. Already two shield, which means, you know, she's going to be even more invincible when she gets her um, thing. Uh, attack two, Curse, Bless one adjacent ally, that's probably going to be useful. Shield adjacent, I'm thinking no. Uh, so basically I gotta look at these for initiative and um, the bottom actions here because I'm probably not going to be using it. This is a good one for sure. Uh, we're going to take this one out. This is not bad um, if, it, if I do it like turn one for the Spellweaver because then um, the Spellweaver's multi-target attack thing is wounding then. Unfortunately the Spellweaver is too short of getting a multi-target. Um, or damage on this. She can get a range on this because it's only going to be 60, but she can't get an extra damage on that without two more gold or selling something. Uh, curse AoE, that's probably going to be good. Strengthen all allies no matter the range. Add plus one to their attacks each turn. So it's either that or wound. Oh, I think this one's probably better. Plus the, the bottom strength in here. The move curse is great. Muddle all enemies range for. Oh god. If it wasn't if it wasn't five initiative, I'd be like, okay, gone. Uh and like the other classes, I really need to figure out what we're doing for top action. So top action. This one's obviously a top action, but it's basically just gonna stay out the whole time. You're probably gonna be used for bottom action, but maybe both. Top action. Yeah, here we go. There's a good one. Goodbye. It's uh, an attack immobilize. This curse would allow me to curse an additional time here. But. And the move shield all allies. Eh. Uh, attack bottom range, loot one. Eh. I mean, the, the top wound's kind of interesting, but we've got this song to play. And if we really need, we can play this song. Um, so, like, turn one for Spellweaver, and then after that, maybe swap to this. Because the Spellweaver wants all, all that damage. It'd be plus one attack or wound. But this has a lot more use later on because move, move and strengthen. Not to mention this top strengthen. So this is a top. This is probably going to be a bottom after turn one. Uh, probably a bottom. Bottom. Uh, top, I guess. I mean, this is a really nice fast initiative. So unless I use this as a bottom for this one on turn one. So I'll consider this a bottom, just move. And like I said, this is going to be up continuously. This is going to be turn one essentially, and then after that it's going to go to the bottom. And then this could even transition to a top. So your big thing is going to be movement then. You're going to have a lot of move twos. Move two, move... I mean, this isn't moving. Move two, move four, move three. We might want to invest in boots instead of a stamina potion at first. I think I'm... I... I yeah, I'm going to... Going to say you're going to need boots, I think. Just to try and keep up. No, not jumping boots. Striding. Which means Spellweaver. Sorry. <laughs> You're not going to get Boots of Striding for a while. Okay. I think I got a good plan. For you. Um, the only time I've played the Soothsinger. 
is for the solo challenge. I used Kyle's level 5 or 6, I don't remember at the time. Um, 6 for that. Um, and also because you're not doing a whole lot of attacking. You're not doing a lot of attacking, so I want to make the most out of my attacks. Uh, and then when I do attack, it's cursing, so I don't really care. And the rest are just base twos. And then maybe some bottoms like this, but, um... Yeah, honestly... Three rolling plus ones? Because <laughs> that adds three to my deck, and you're not- well, no, yeah. curses because when, when you damage you're basically doing it when you have nothing else to do um. sure we'll uh we'll we'll try to get you into a curse build and i don't have your player modifier okay player four Try to get as many curses as we can. Hopefully you're not disadvantaged too much. Okay. Uh, so that's your deck pretty much settled. You need boots. And you... I think we're good on you as well. I should really break you down as well. You're basically a backup when you have nothing else to do. The pull is nice too. Um, you're a move four until we need the top. You're a move. Attack, attack. Uh, probably a move... Uh, attack attack and probably a bottom mm, yeah that's not too bad okay you do not like stacking there we go some of them did uh, what color were you white so it should be interesting coming up, uh, especially kind of going into some later scenarios here, number-wise. I mean, we're going straight to 45 next now that that's done, I think. Because 45 and 49 are the two that the Spellweaver needs to retire. And so the Spellweaver will be retired after we finish that one. And then after that, I think we go back and finish up Jaxera's quest line. So you're almost done. You're going to be retired in two scenarios here. Oh, you know what I have to do yet? Um, I need to deal out some more goals. Okay. What do you got? Kill 20 elite monsters. That's going to take forever. Donate 120 gold. Oh, God. They're both, they both kind of suck. Although... Even when we're playing 4 player, the 20 elite monsters doesn't take as bad. It also unlocks two minis, which I'm kind of interested in playing. This one... Given, <laughs> I don't really want to do this one until our reputation's higher. <laughs> Meaning once we're done with the negative reputation. So I think I'm going to try putting that back in the deck and take the elite one instead. Hello. Oh boy. And then what do you got? 15 vermilings. Complete scenario. Okay, well this is easier for you than killing shit, so. Not a bad one to get for a soothsinger. Complete a scenario in... Gloomhaven, the Dagger Forest, well, Gloomhaven will come up. Dagger Forest, the Swamp's coming up. Watcher Mountains, Copperneck Mountains, and Misty Sea. Okay. So basically just go anywhere. One, one in each place. And it unlocks the Triangles, which is cool. Lots of new classes. Um, in addition, I just remembered I need to add the uh, City Events. I somehow forget this. So 32 for you, City and Road Events. Uh, so 32. I want the actual 32. Thank you. And the road event. On the road event. 32. And Soothsinger is 37. 37? 37. Uh, the Quartermaster is... Oh, sorry. The Soothsinger is 37. 
in addition come on in addition i need to go and figure out what the tinkerers were uh so give me one sec i'm gonna look it up here in my research thing all right come on load all right so tinker was 43 so many road events oh 43 please um what i don't know what happened there anyway uh 43 for you and 43 for you and what was the other class mind thief mind thief has 47 Okay. All right, and then we'll shuffle, 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 shuffle. Did I decide what I'm do for you? Oh yeah, I, I, I had the curses. I remember. Okay, let's save before I break something. Am I forgetting anything else? Oh, uh, retiring characters to prosperity. There we go. And also we need achievements. We have city rule demonic. We got artifact lost. We got the dead invade. A lot of achievements. Yeah, copper neck. Basically, once we finish with this, well, uh, I'm not sure if I'll do that right away. To be honest, I think I'll do the Jexera quest line. I'm just talking to myself, planning ahead. Lingering swamp, pretty easy. Watch remote. Watch remote. Is that one of them? Watch your mountains, yeah. So we could do that as a side scenario as well. Um, okay, I think we're gonna go. Oh, wait, how much health do you have? Six. So we traded a weak character and a mid character for a pretty strong character and uh, another weak character. Good to know. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, Spellweaver. Do I want to add a range onto this? It's good for lots of enemies. This is still by far better. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit that. Like I said, it's gonna cost it's gonna cost 60. Let me just check that again. For adding range, it's 30, but double because it's multi-target, so it's gonna cost 60 to add a range to that, and then it could also spend 30 on something else. Like Getting the range on this, for instance, this being a bottom heal. Or even getting a range on, like, this, making this a range 3. I think I'll do that. I think I'll buy some ranges. Because I think it's going to really help you out. So we're going to get plus 1 range to this thing, which means it's technically 5 target attack max. And then we'll also get a range on you, so now you're paired up with, uh, what the hell did I just stick her? So now, the mana bolts and these two are all range 3. I'll prefer to use this one over these two if I don't have an element. And this is now a nice big attack, so that's all... That's 90. 60 for this, 30 for this. That's the only way you can enhance that one anyways, cool. Uh, and then... Since we're Prosperity level 2, basically we can only enhance 2, which means uh, whatever money we have left over is basically going to be going into the move bottom of this one, or the attack, probably the attack bottom of this one, whether it be more range. Range 2 kind of sucks. Being range 3 is, is definitely preferred. I'm limited to only 2 enhanced cards at Prosperity level 2, so... All right, and then you need 35 more gold before you can get yours. 
but with Sue Singer shielding you, um, it, it'll hold you over until we get there. <laughs> okay, like I said, uh, we're going to call it here. So thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to continue into the swamp and continue helping the demons until we abolish all sense of order in the world because we're greedy bastards looking out for ourselves. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.